Hi, my name is Dave, and today we're going to look at the charming and extremely unusual TAL 65 reflector telescope on a German equatorial mount, full featured mount. Okay, here's the box for the TAL 65 telescope. Just to prove that it's Russian, there it is written in Russian. Let's open this up and see what we've got. cardboard box. Ah, here's an inspection sticker, instruction manual. Maybe something else in there. Okay, so here's an eyepiece and here's a like just an extension. This would be a Barlow, effectively. This would be a solar filter, never to be used. Why they put those in? This is a fairly modern telescope. They've really got no excuse for putting something like that in. Here's a cute little counterweight. Now, actually, This is, uh, this is all metal here, this is all metal, it's all metal, nice, well constructed, these are plastic of course. Maybe a look at the front of the scope. Have you ever seen a 65 millimeter telescope with slow motion, right? Ascension and declination. These are phenomenal. And they're not just little tangent arms either. They go all the way around. <coughs> Quite amazing. One of the reasons I had to have this scope when I saw it advertised was it's got so many features of a much larger scope in a tiny diminutive little package here. This is, uh, you would, you would think that this was going to be a toy and, uh, it's certainly toy sized. I would, I think I'd rather call it miniature. It's a miniature telescope. There is a nice, well built, Robust. This is not plastic. Well, maybe that is, I don't know. But it's extremely well built. It's very robust. Um, much better than a typical toy telescope. Here's your finder for it. It's a peep scope type finder. Look at that thing. Isn't that beautiful? Let's raise it up. Well, you're not going to be able to set that on the floor and use it. Unless, well, if you're crawling around on your knees, I suppose. Okay, let me give you some close-ups. Okay, let's take a close look at this mount. First of all, you've got the uh, latitude adjustment. It even has the indicator here. Lock it down. It's nice. This is metal. It's nice and sturdy, nice and robust. Uh, this thing, I'm going to raise and lower it, right there. Here's right ascension, there's the lock. Lock it down, there's your slow motion. Very, very nice and sturdy and robust. <laughs> Quite a bit of overkill for this little telescope. Uh, this piece appears to be plastic, but it's nice and robust. It's nice and strong. And i got a similar kind of situation up here. Turn that, you can see how that's moving, like that, a little bit stiff, here's how this mechanism works, 
This is all metal. The tube, I believe, is plastic, a nice sturdy plastic. It's got a lovely sort of uh, speckle metallic paint job on it. There is the focuser. I think I would, uh, I think this is probably metal. I think I would compare that in quality to say a Zeiss or something like that. Okay, just for fun, let's compare this tel telescope, the Tal 65, with its ancestor, the Tal Alcor, which is also a 65 millimeter telescope. Let me see if I can get this set up here. Okay, so I think you can clearly see the genetic relationship between this and this. This is probably 20 years older than that. Um, uh, the, uh, the specifications are, I'm sure, identical in terms of the optics. Uh, the OTAs are, you know, very, very close, very similar. The real differences come with the mounts. This has an equatorial mount, which is a very nice feature. But this Altaz mount is actually uh, very highly prized and it's extremely well made. I've got, a, I've got a whole video on this so you may want to watch that. Anyway, it's uh, extremely well constructed. And for an Altaz mount, boy, it's not bad at all. And it's, it's much beefier here. This also has an extension that makes it uh, so much taller so that it's a bit more convenient for work working from the ground. <clears throat> this one, I don't know if maybe you could put a tripod under it or not. Maybe you can. Anyway, uh, they're different but similar and very, very uh, comparable telescopes. And both super high quality. Very, uh, this has got a, quite a reputation in Russia, apparently. It's uh, considered to be the one of the archetypal telescopes from the, you know, 15, 20, 30, 40 years ago. The eye pieces supplied with this telescope are, I would say, not the greatest. They're, this is a Huygens design, a plastic. I cannot believe that they would use plastic on the eye pieces, but they do. It's a plastic housing. It's a nice, sturdy, firm plastic, so it's not that bad. But by the same token, I would have used metal if I was them. Uh, you know, you got a high quality telescope, why not use metal eye pieces? And a Huygens design, which is pretty uh, horrible. To tell you the truth, it's really not a bad eyepiece, but you have to have your eye right on top of the eyepiece to be able to see very much. And it's got this interesting, strange design where you can use this eyepiece by itself for low power, this eyepiece with this for, um, this is effectively a Barlow, for higher power, and then this combined with this and that for an even higher power. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on the Tal 65mm telescope. Thank you very much for watching.